Thousands of Palestinians attended a funeral procession on Sunday for two gunmen killed earlier in the day by Israeli security forces in the occupied West Bank. The fighters, claimed as members by the Fatah al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigade, died in a pre-dawn clash at a house in Nablus. The Palestinian Health Ministry said six others were wounded. Police said Israeli security forces on an apparent arrest raid of a wanted suspect came under fire. They, quote, responded with live fire and other means until neutralizing the terrorists inside the house and on its roof. Writing on Twitter, Hussein al-Sheikh, a senior Palestinian official, condemned what he described as a crime committed by occupation forces. Israeli forces have stepped up raids in the West Bank in recent months, after men from the area carried out deadly street attacks in Israel. U.S. brokered peace talks aimed at establishing a Palestinian state in East Jerusalem, the West Bank and Gaza collapsed in 2014 and have shown no signs of revival. Separately on Sunday, the Israeli Navy fired on a fishing boat accused of smuggling in Hamas supplies from Egypt after its two crewmen escaped. A military spokesman said the vessel had strayed from Israel's maritime cordon on Gaza, which is ruled by Hamas. The Navy fired on the boat after it did not heed orders to stop, the military said, adding that it carried unspecified supplies for Hamas. The chairman of the Palestinian Fishermen's Union said such allegations have in the past proved baseless. The union said the two crew members had jumped into the water and swum to shore before the boat was destroyed.